What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and having been at EGX the last couple of days, I've got a kind of different weird video for you today. Still in Space Engineers, it should have been a speed build, and I had a really good suggestion from one of my subscribers for a speed build sort of subject. However, having played around a little bit with it, I discovered that not only was it not going to be possible in 10 minutes, it's also been pretty hard work just coming up with something that was going to do what I wanted it to do. And what I'm talking about is the point of this massive building, we are obviously in creative mode, is what we have a demonstration of here. Now this is my first design. And basically what I was trying to build was a target drone. So something that you could use to test your fighter ships on. So as you can see, as we move around this, it's doing its damnedest to try and point away from me. Now this is uh, version one, as I mentioned. So we do have a newer version over here and I'll go and use that to demonstrate what, how exactly this is all functioning because uh, one of the things I put on the newer version was a control panel on the back of it so that I could stop it from spinning around like a lunatic when I wanted to. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way to do this? Let's just turn the reactors off. Off you go. Right. Now it's not spinning around. We can go around to the front and see that we've got... Ignore this one. This one's not doing anything at the moment. Um, but you can see we basically have a sensor on all the sides, top, bottom, both sides, and then a gyro for each one of these sensors. And if I go into the control panel, they're all labelled up. So we have uh, do the sensors first. We have forward, port, starboard, ventral, and dorsal sensor. This gunnery sensor was the extra one that I said to ignore on the front. And basically these each represent the directions that they are pointing, and they are hooked up to a bunch of gyroscopes. So we have a gyroscope to match each one of those. And the way I've set things up to work with this is that uh, each, uh, back forward is a really bad example, starboard is a good one. So starboard controls the gyro that turns me port. And these gyros, as the port gyro, as you can see, have an override set for one direction only. And what those sensors will do is toggle those over that um, block on and off in order to set up the overrides. So if I just now go and turn our reactors back on again. Anyway, you get the idea. This is designed to. Um, aside from the obvious, the uh, gyros, we have an extra gyro on the front. Uh, the forward gyro works a bit differently. There is a, a gyro for that, and if I can find it, here's our forward sensor, and that's set with a very specific, very, very narrow forward beam, essentially, of 450 meters. All the other ones are much, much smaller blocks around the sides, or, or the bottom and top of the vehicle. And the forward gyro, which is the override gyro, this is kind of designed to stop it from getting stuck. I had, it had a habit of getting stuck against walls, but anyway. Instead of jabbering on any more about issues with that and its predecessor, let me go and show you a little experiment I've set up inside here. And of course, this is necessary to give the the ships a, a some confines to move around. So I turn my UI back on again. Massive antennas pop into existence, and here are a whole bunch of those ships that I've copy and pasted in, and they've all got the thrusters set ready to set them off. So if I go to the thrusters on this, off you go. And you, sir, away, off you go. As you can see, they don't move particularly quickly. Uh, unfortunately, the delay apparent in the sensors, gyros, and the necessary to turn the ships around means that they can't ever move that fast. But here we have the beginnings of a room to go and practice and test out any new ships you might have. So these guys will fly around like lunatics and occasionally they do eventually get stuck. Um, they don't seem to like going along walls. So this is this is why this is still a concept so far. <clears throat> but they will fly around in there and the idea being that you could copy and paste whatever ship it is you've designed, whatever turret it is you've designed into this world. So in this case I've just got a random little fighter kicking around and then you could go and do a little bit of target practice. And these guys will actively try and avoid you as well as just randomly fly, flying around. Now of course, in a big open room like this, this is a little bit easy. They're not too hard to chase down and kill. 
But that's because we're not really testing our piloting abilities here. This is sort of the initial setup I had for these. And I think we've uh, finished that one off as well. So there should be a few more still flying around. There's one. Come here, you. Oh, we killed the antenna. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea with those. So let me load up another world I've got. And this was... Now I'd sort of done a bit with that design. It seemed to work. They seemed to fly around just fine. I thought I'd test exactly exactly how manoeuvrable they were. What can they deal with? So as a second scenario, and this is only as far as I've taken it so far, it needs a lot more testing to get these things down to something that's really good. Uh, we have a setup where instead of... They're already flying around in there, as you can see. But we've no longer got just a simple room. I've put some big walls in there, so you've got some objects to fly around in as you go in and hunt. So let's go and see how that works out and whether this makes the whole business any more difficult. Now, of course, one thing you could do if you really wanted to make things more difficult than this stands, because at the moment, as I said, this is very much a, a basic concept, is remove these antennas. They're on there because... Obviously, these things are actually kind of hard to keep track of. So they've got antennas on them, so I know where they are, and if need be, I can shut them down remotely. They don't need to have antennas. No, you're not getting away. Come back. Yeah. They don't need to have the antenna blocks on them by any means. They'll quite happily drive around on their own, doing all this stuff without the antennas on them whatsoever. So it could be that you decide not to build them with the antennas and then you have to go and try and find the things and if you look okay they show up a bit but uh, we haven't completely disabled them all either they show up a bit but not that much once, they, once they've been hurt you look a bit broken there sir so. so anyway there's the basic concept I need to take it a little bit further but uh, if I just exit out load up this world again because it's kind of it's kind of fun seeing them all just drive around, bounce off the walls, except not bounce off the walls, they turn just before they get there, but just bounce around the room and just generally look kind of cool in this swarm-like variety. And of course what you could do is, it's creative, so you can copy and paste one that's already flying and spam a whole load of them out. Swarms of automated drones. So let's go and check these babies out and see how they're doing. They're trying to avoid each other as well as trying to avoid the walls. They will avoid players, they will avoid ships, they will avoid the walls. And I did try and get it set up so that they would fire the guns if they detected a player in front of them. But uh, unfortunately that part of things hasn't been working. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any way of making the sensor fire a gun, basically. Uh, if anyone's got any ideas for that, hit me up in the comments below. But there you go. The weird, weird, wonderful... I don't know what you want to call them. Target drone strange ships and hopefully I will be able to advance this concept and this idea and take it a little bit further in a future video until then thanks a lot for watching guys if you found this concept interesting I can't say it's uh, particularly helpful but maybe interesting then please hit that like button the subscribe button really helps me out and I will catch you guys next time